the MVP glitch and the Castaplast Berg are two of the most interesting, controversial, and innovative discs on the market today. They stand out amongst the crowd of otherwise conventional, bland, and repetitive copycat variations that fill out the putt and approach category. But this begs an important question. Is the innovation, intrigue, and hype justified? Or is it just a marketing scheme to sell more discs? Are they gimmick or greatness? Now I've thrown both of these discs a ton of times and played countless rounds with them. So I wanted to come out to Liberty and pick just a few specific holes that I think demonstrate the pros and cons of the glitch and the berg well. Starting off right here at hole one. In this pin position, this is a short, touchy 170 foot hole. And even though the tee pad is pointed that way, the basket is actually that way, right down the tunnel. These kinds of really touchy shots can be where these discs can give you a huge advantage, but in two very different ways. The glitch, so floaty, so glidey, and dead straight, if not slightly understable, while the Berg doesn't have a ton of glide, wants to get to the ground pretty quick, and tends to be more overstable. The nice thing about both of these discs on these short approaches, though, is that they tend to sit where they hit, and that can be a huge advantage, especially on a sloped green. Hole two, 295 feet, dead straight, and down the hill, you can barely see the basket tucked away in the back. Now, this is one of those shots where I maybe wouldn't use either one of these discs. You can certainly get away with it, but I find with this kind of shot, using a traditional neutral putter and throwing a stock shot is way easier for me to achieve a good result than trying to be extra touchy with one of these two discs to get them to do what I want them to do. Hole three is 378 straight down the tunnel. Now, once again, a shot I would not normally throw a putter of any kind off of, but because this hole is pretty open, this will give you a good chance to really get an idea of how these two discs flies. Start with the bird. Spun it well, hit an incredible gap. Not what I was trying to do, but that was pretty sweet. Local route. So, after throwing both of these discs hundreds of times, playing countless rounds with each and comparing their performance to the other mainstays of the putt and approach category, it's clear that both of these discs offer something different in the way of feel, performance, and experience to the disc golfer. For the right player, they bring a fresh sense of joy, excitement, that cuts through the ordinary and reinvigorates the fun you can have playing a short par three pitch and putt. For the competitive amateur, they can provide a unique shortcut to achieving better results more quickly for your short game. And in the hands of a prudent player, they can be a great tool to hone your touch and improve your all around skills as a disc golfer. But a word of warning, my experience has been that over-reliance on these two discs can short circuit your growth as a disc golfer. You can easily rely on these unique discs to get the job done for you instead of learning proper touch, angle, and speed control that you might need on a traditional putter approach shot. So with all that being said, should either the Glitch or the Berg make your bag? Let's go. Well, for me, absolutely the answer is yes. And in fact, both of these discs are going in my bag. I love the Berg for approaches into greens that are sloped or have high roll away potential, the way in which it just sits flat and sticks. This disc can be a mainstay or reliance on me for that shot. And the glitch is just so fun to give those soft floaty bids towards the basket. Both of these discs, whether or not they actually make me a better player, are a ton of fun. And for that reason, and that reason alone, it's easy for me to recommend these two discs. And that's why I bag them. Hey, I appreciate you guys hanging out and checking out the channel. As always, like and subscribe if you want to. It helps me out. Also, I launched a Discord. If you're interested in disc golf, if you love the disc golf community, if you want a place to come hang out, share your joy that disc golf brings, the Discord is a great place. It's free, it's open to anyone. The link down in the description. I'd love to have you join me as a part of that community. My name is Andrew Wood. Remember the journey is the destination. I'll catch you in the next one.